Tomorrow, jury selection begins in the trial of the Capitol Gazette shooter, Jared Ramos. And as we approach three years since Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, Johnny McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters all lost their lives just working at the local newspaper. We spoke with one of the victim's daughters, and WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs will be covering this trial from start to finish. And she has more on the toll this is already taking. That's just a big void in my life, and it's been hard for, for all of us. Winters Larka misses her mom, Wendy Winters, especially now that she has a child of her own. My son has been deprived of something before he even is aware that it's existed. She thinks about what she'll tell her son, about the grandmother he'll never get to meet. My mom liked to tell stories. That's a lot of what she considered her job to be as a reporter. She was telling people's stories. Monday marks three years since Larka lost her mother, and four other families lost their loved ones too. The sad thing is that there's been so many mass shootings in this country that all but the biggest tend to get forgotten. In Maryland alone, since the shooting at the Capitol Gazette, there have been 54 mass shootings, defined as four or more people injured or killed. Every shooting is obviously a tragedy, but this is my personal tragedy. Delayed by the pandemic, jurors will now decide the fate of the shooter. He pleaded guilty to the murders, but not criminally responsible by reason of insanity. A forensic psychiatrist with the state health department declared him sane, but it's up to a jury. The trial is long overdue. Justice is a slow process. I am ready for justice to be served. But Larka won't be in the courtroom. I don't really see much point in giving the defendant any of my time. He's not important. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs. Can I just say that the leader of the paper, Rick Hutzel, just announced that he has taken the buyout for the parent company that's going to be owning the Capital Gazette, but he was responsible for keeping this paper publishing day after day after day. And today, Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman shared his thoughts about the upcoming trial. And the trial brings back the trauma, um, particularly for the people closest to it. And uh, um, for the rest of the community, I think while it reminds people what happened and there's a certain sadness about that, um, it also reminds people that, that um, we do have a system to um, hold people accountable and to, um, to um, bring justice um, when things like this happen. Now, the state's attorney's office tells us that jury selection is expected to run from tomorrow through Friday, and the trial is scheduled to begin next Tuesday, a day after families will mark three years since losing their loved ones. And the trial is expected to last through mid-July. Kelly? Well, next week, a memorial will be unveiled honoring the victims of the Capitol Gazette. It has five pillars and a large wall with the words of the First Amendment. It is being called the Guardians of the First Amendment Memorial. An unveiling ceremony is set for June 28th at 11 a.m. at Newman Park in Annapolis.